Hello ladies and gentlemen, we have another video today and in this video we're going to talk about projectors, specifically these projectors. I don't remember exactly what car these came from. I think one was uh, Nissan. Uh, and another one was, I think, Honda, something like that. So these projector lens lights, you can call them whatever you want to call them. These are, well, they're called halogen, halogen projectors. It has a reflector here, reflector part. So the light mirrors from reflector through the shield and into this lens right here and on the road. Both are the same. Um, these are actually not exactly the same projector lens. They are slightly different. And I'm going to open them up right now and show you the difference. My drill. Let's put it like this for now. And this one goes like this. Now let's open this one right here. Now let's take them a little bit more apart. So we have lens, reflector, shield. First difference, these two shields, you see how much bigger this one is and this one smaller. These lens, I think they're pretty much the same. Yeah, the only thing is this one right here has these plastic pins. Three pins, one on each mounting bracket. And this one has only two pins on two mounting brackets. This mounting bracket is a little smaller, it has no pins. So it looks very similar. The diameter of the magnifying glass is similar, but this plastic altogether is not the same. So now this one right here still has a light bulb. They both H11 projectors. They use H11 light bulb. Let's take this out. You see? both H11. That's one of the reasons why I decided to take these two projectors. The bulb goes in here, it shoots the light from this reflector, it's all chrome inside, through a shield like this, uh, I think like this, yes, through a shield like this, you see, into this glass and on the road. Now, let's not talk about these shields right now. I, w I really wanted to focus more on these reflectors here. I tell people sometimes when they buy, buy their cars, sometimes when they buy new cars, I tell them right away, well, you wanted to save a little bit, that's fine. You don't wanna buy HID lights or uh, LED lights uh, as an option of your car, that's fine, but as a cheap alternative, you can do a conversion kit to projector lens that we have. They can be installed in uh, most of the car's headlights. They come with incandescent halogen bulbs like these. And so what these people say is that, well, you know what? We don't feel like doing it right now. The car is stock and we can still see on the road very well and so on, which I understand about Four months later, these light bulbs, they start getting dimmer and dimmer because they have a spiral right in here and it starts burning out because it's pretty much a piece of metal in there and it starts burning out. So it's becoming dimmer and dimmer. So what the person does is they wait until this light completely goes out. Most of the time, that's what people do, and then they go buy another one at the store. Sometimes they don't wait until this light bulb goes out, burns out. They go to the store and let's say this bulb says uh, 55 watt. 
They go to the store and they buy these fancy, bright alternatives uh, to the same halogen bulbs. They might be 65, uh, 85 watt or 100 watt. And they put it back in here. And they enjoy again. Until about six months later to a year, they have the same issue. Now the car is a year old, two year old, or even three year old. And they say, well, you know what? These just don't do the job anymore. I want to upgrade to LEDs. They upgrade to LEDs. When they decide to finally go with LEDs, this is what happens. One. If you can see right here, this was supposed to be all nice and smooth like this side. Okay. And what are we seeing here? It's all burnt out. This inside here is supposed to be a mirror for the light bulb. We have some kind of a sandpaper in here instead. Now let's see this one. This one looks even worse in some situation. Look at these spots. These spots on these sides, they'll look really burnt to plastic. In these both situations, you get a light reflecting from other spots and not really where it matters a lot. So that's where the problem really starts because now when you're putting something brighter in here, you're just pushing these projectors to their limits and the limit is gone. You burnt it with all these light bulbs. And you know what these people usually say? They say that these LEDs are not that good. It's a waste of money. They're not worth the money that we're paying for it. Yada, yada, yada. Cheap Chinese crap. And I can hear all kinds of stuff. Uh, first of all, in China, they make good quality stuff, average quality, and cheap quality. And it's not only in China, they make it in any other part of the world. It depends um, who and why they working on that. Now another thing is that who's installing these LED lights, conversion kits, that also matters how they install it. And another question is, well, these come with a car. So how did the manufacturer think about this? You know how sometimes headlights also get foggy, like the, the clear plastic lens that's an outside that protects the rest of the headlight? That the same reason why this gets burned inside right here. So if you want better lights, you either have to go LED right away because LED lights, they don't produce heat. So you can save these reflectors here. Or you have to replace this thing down the road and this can cost pretty big penny if you can find these pieces separate or you would have to buy new headlights for your car so i don't think you should be blaming led conversion kit kits manufacturers doesn't matter where the they come from it's probably something else that you should think about now since we pass this point put these two aside because we're done with these you can use these in the car. It doesn't matter how much you want. Let's go. Let's talk about these lens. Sometimes they get dust over here. So when they get dust here, that deteriorates the light pattern a little bit. I don't know how the dust gets into your headlights, but if it does, you would have to minimum wash your headlights to get rid of the dust on this magnifying glass and another thing the last one i wanted to talk to you about these shields these shields right here why do they have different holes here it's not just a design i can tell you one thing and a lot of people might strongly disagree with me a lot of people might call me all kinds of names the reason for this is manufacturer pulls puts these shields to block certain part 
of the light from going in certain parts of the road like for example this this one right here it's smaller so the light doesn't fall down closer to the front of your car it goes far out in front of the car not close in front of your car and because of that the manufacturer sells you fog lights and fog lights do exactly that they light up your car in the front directly in the front and a little bit on the side see another thing is here it's narrower comparing to this same thing even though this shield is bigger it still does the same thing the say it gives you the same effect a little bit better than this one so every headlight is different in a certain way I could modify these shields a little bit but again it's not something that you can simply spend five minutes on you have to do a lot of work but you could use your factory headlights modify them and be very happy with it you don't need to overpay $2,500 uh, or more for LED lights or buy these uh, packages that the dealer sells you in your new car for thousands of dollars as well just to get HID lights by the way forgot to tell you important thing if some of you might think that putting halogen bulb or incandescent bulb brighter than what was the, uh, the headlamp made for by the manufacturer like for example this one is 55 watt you, you put a 100 watt bulb in here these lens heat up and maybe in winter you may crack now you're gonna have a crack going across this magnifying glass and on the road it might give you like a, a shadow somewhere and uh, little by little you're gonna hate your car you're gonna hate your car at night not during the day because at night you would be able to not see anything huh how did I put it some people they paint this with something like chrome it's not the same thing I don't think uh, this amount of work is justified just to paint it some coat it with something usually doesn't hold up that long anyway up to a year again it flakes off actually so people make your um, decision wisely don't be stubborn a lot of people are stubborn now I'm not accepting this new technology I'm not doing this if you manufacture made it this way they know what they're doing well let me ask you this if the manufacturer was so good why do your cars die after a certain amount of time usually it's a couple of years after the warranty is up why do engines in certain cars they last you a little over a hundred thousand miles and then the engine is almost garbage as good as garbage because they want to sell you a new car the same thing with headlights your life has to get to a certain point where you're gonna start hating your car because it's old and you're gonna go to the dealership and buy a new car with new headlights new engine and everything else that comes with it so you just let them do it to you that's all it is so you're gonna hate me for breaking this down to you like that all you want but I don't think I'm wrong and please comment anybody comment under this video what am I wrong about I would like to really have somebody prove me wrong if you like this video you can put thumbs up you can subscribe leave me in comments if you did like it and I will try to make more videos like this take a look at it again Thanks for watching.